Hey YouTube, the X2 is finally ready for a test. So uh, in order to get it to the water, I'm going to need a way to transport it. I don't have a trailer, so I got some material and I'm going to make a thing. Perfect. So the receiver ends here. We've got seven inches of boat. We want a bit of clearance. I'm going 10 inches to the center of the groove. So that means 10 inches to here. That means 16 inches from the end. And then this goes like this. And then 13 inches on center. All right. Makes sense.
Okay, so I've decided that I'm gonna put a support on each end to stop it from spreading because the hull is gonna try to push these apart, especially if I use a V. These end supports here, not only do they add uh, strength to the whole system this way, but they also give me a place to tie the front and the back on. So that's good. Now I just gotta figure out a way to get this safely onto there. I do have the electric hoist, but I don't have a lift or a strap for this. So I'm gonna have to get one of those and I think for now, to test this out, what I'm going to actually do is something stupid and basically slide it on. I still haven't figured out or even thought about how I'm going to get it back onto the cart. Because I need to use my truck for work tomorrow. But, uh, we'll deal with that when we get there. That can't be there. <laughs> this could be bad. Thank you. 
It's on there pretty perfect. Doesn't get much better than that. This is what I've come up with so far. Mounted these on here, which will make it easy to tie down the jet ski. Got one on that end, one over on this end. Mounted on there nice and solid. There's a couple of more things that I plan to do to this for sure, and then one thing that I might do. Uh, I'm going to put some lights on it and relocate my license plate and yeah just so that I don't get hassled by the police and then on top of that I bought this trailer receiver stock stuff I'll be able to put that on there and then put this in there and still tow my travel trailer because it's a very tiny trailer as you guys will see We've got that tiny little travel trailer and so I would like to be able to take the jet ski when we go camping because we sometimes go to some lakes. So. Alright YouTube, it's a few days later and I've finally got this all figured out. I cut this off and drilled a hole in it and then I cut my receiver stock. So that fits on there now. One pin goes through here and then my drawbar goes in here and now I can put the trailer on after putting the jet ski on. Most excellent. Alright YouTube, I think that's just about it for this video. Hopefully the next time we see this thing it is backing into the water and dropping the jet ski off. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.